Hi everybody. I just woke up from a dream and it's dark. It's about five in the morning and raining outside. And I just woke up with a very uh, profound memory of having lived another life in ancient Greece. And the dream is all about a mathematical crisis, a kind of a shockwave that that changed the world of mathematics forever. And it was something that I was involved in two and a half thousand years ago. So, so my name then was Hippasus. And I lived at the Ram at the time when Buddha walked in India and other great masters like Confucius in China. So I was part of a Macedonian uh, cult or a group that investigated the the treasures of mathematics we were the pythagoreans but we had a code the, the code was all is number all that means is that we only worshipped whole numbers or integers to explain the universe like just one two three but we could have things like three a uh, one and a half so to express one and a half on the number line that horizontal line there's one, there's two, but we could have a midpoint called one and a half. That was three over two. So long as, so 1.5, one and a half was um, allowed to be used because it was based on three num uh, whole numbers, three divided by two. But something happened that could not be explained. Something came that broke all the boundaries of the Pythagorean worldview and it was a mathematical crisis at the core. It was something so serious that you were not allowed to talk about it. So I revealed something at that time amongst the brotherhood, sisterhood of the Pythagoreans. I revealed this problem that could not be explained. Even till this day, it cannot be explained. And so they took me out to sea and drowned me. So what what was my crime? Well, the crime was um, we started investigating the square. So you can see there's a square there. So this 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 is called the unit square. It's one by one. So the one by one square is understandable. It's measurable. But we don't know what the distance is from this point here to the other point here. These two points is called the diagonal. There, oh, there it is with that line. So there's the diagonal of that line. And we tried to measure it and it was roughly about 1.4, 1.5, but it just didn't fit. And it wasn't rational, it wasn't logical. So we called them, we call this today in irrational number. No, normally, like on a calculator today, if you go, what is the square root of two means what number multiplied by itself gives two. And we know that the answer today roughly is 1.4142. But those decimals go forever and ever and ever without any repetition. So if we understood that this diagonal of the unit square, the one by one square, gave um, a, a, a value like 1.4142, 4142, 4142. If, we'd ha if it had some re repetition, what we call recursion, then we say, hey, we understand it. We know exactly the length of this diagonal. But this was the crisis. This was the shock wave. So imagine like today you're playing solitaire, a card game. You're playing this card game and um, you're getting towards the end. Everything's, you're trying to get all the cards stacked one on top of the other like we do. But there's some cards missing at the end and, and it just doesn't work. Well, that's the fact today. We still don't know what irrational numbers are. It's a crisis today, but there is a good part to all this because these this boundary even though we we couldn't explain what an irrational number was to this day it forced us to go beyond the boundary to explore not just mathematics but also to explore geometry so here's another cube this is uh well this is there there's the unit square because this Christ was all about what's that length. So we know that this length diagonal from there to there is root two. 
But what's the distance? They started to measure the distance from this node here to the opposing one on the other side. We call it a space diagonal. And that space diagonal goes from there to there in space. And its measurement today is another messy number called root three. It's another what we call a radical. It's so radical. We, we still don't know today the precise distance of root three. But isn't that amazing that the cube um, embodies all the sacred numbers that we can't that we can't even explain today. And it all starts with the unity consciousness, the square. So, and what, what it's for, and when I say it's going beyond the boundaries of forbidden knowledge, what's happening is that we know that this is a plane, so that's X, X and Y. So this is X and Y, which is the base. But what if we had a third axis, this is perpendicular? Well, we call that X, Y and Z. But what if there was a fourth axis we're talking about a fourth dimensional cube now, that there was a little cube within the larger cube, that's called fractal, when the inside is the same as the outside. There was just some thunder there, so there's a lot of lightning going on. Yeah, so oh, that helped me lose my train of thought. So, um, so what's fascinating is that this is a story about a mathematical crisis that led us into the modern world. Even though we can't explain what the square root of two is, we can approximate it. It led us to things called complex numbers. That's called, um, well, first it led to things like negative numbers and other entities and absolute values. But when we started studying complex numbers in this last century, it led to the ability to start looking at things in rotation and in space, like um, imagine seeing the world as a multi-dimensional um, rotating sphere in the cosmos and that we could explore it like GPS. That, the fact that today that you can use your mobile phone, which is based on complex numbers and GPS and navigate, means we're, we're starting to understand the guts of the true meaning of this cosmic mathematics, and um, which is leading to physics and quantum entanglement. So it all started the mystery of creation these codes of creation, it all started from one thing. It was an examination of the unit square, the diagonal of the unit square, which represents unity consciousness. So um, we're still exploring today. Uh, teach your children how to calculate Pythagoras' theorem, which is really from ancient India, ancient China, Persia. Every culture had this knowledge. It's knowledge from the stars. This, this is... Uh, royal and confidential knowledge that has been given to us from other stellar systems. But what's symbolic in this lecture, this little rave, this little dream that I just had, was that it all started from this humble one by one square, which is all about oneness and unity consciousness. Good morning.